Hey guys, Cody with After 5 Outdoors. Today, just a quick video about the Yeti cooler. This is a Rode 20. The main objective of this video is gonna show you how to replace this handle that uh, broke on me. And just a little bit about this cooler really fast. This cooler will hold about 14 cans, 16 ounce cans, soda, pop, whatever you wanna call it. A very good cooler if you're going out for the day fishing, you wanna put sandwiches in here, you wanna put bait in here, some ice, it'll hold ice for a long time. This cooler empty weighs about 15 pounds, so it's a little bit heavy, but it is constructed very well. It's very durable, and it's going to keep your stuff cold all day long, as long as you keep it sealed. So what happened to me is, for some reason, this handle broke. And looking at the outside, there's two pins that go in here. Uh, just by looking at it, you're like, oh no, can I replace them? Can I pull them out? You can, and it's very simple. Let me show you how. All right, so you can pick up these handles. Uh, you can get them online, you can get them on eBay. If you buy them on eBay, be careful because they say that they fit. They do fit, but they're a little bit tight. They're a little bit bigger than what the handle is that you get right from the T handle that you get right from Yeti. These cost about 17 bucks for two. Are they overpriced? Yeah, I think they are a little bit. You know, you're gonna pay a couple hundred bucks for this cooler. I'm not sure if you can even uh, purchase the 20 anymore. I, I think they may have uh, updated it to a 24. I've had this cooler for about five years used it in a, a, di a bunch of different scenarios and it's been a good cooler. So if you got one, you know what I'm talking about. But here we go. So if you need to replace this handle, if you break it, the tools you're gonna need is a hammer, screwdriver, and a pliers. You can do it with a screwdriver, but totally, but it's just a little bit difficult. So what you wanna do is you wanna get the head of your screwdriver in the top of that pin, just pound just a little bit and just pry this pin out. Pry it out a little bit, you can get a hold of it with a plier, pull it right out, and you have your uh, broken latch. Throw that in the garbage, grab your new latch. Now the handle is offset just a little bit where you want the emblem sticking out. So, and you can open the cooler up, makes it a little bit easier. You can just set this uh, handle right in there. Get your pin back in the hole till it gets tight. Pound it right in there. You've got a handle as good as new. So hopefully that helped you out. If you've broken a handle and you look at your cooler, you're not quite sure what to do. You can fix it. A little bit more expensive than what I think it should be. But overall, this is a really good cooler. You get what you pay for. This video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up. If you have a Yeti cooler, leave your opinion of your Yeti cooler down in the comments. I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. We'll see you on the next one.